Okay, so I had some students have questions on, on problem 623, which is a little bit more complicated problem because you have to use, use a goal seeker solver or else use algebra to solve it. So, by the way, I got this problem from this book right here, M Finance by Marcia and Cornet, the third edition. A very good finance textbook if you're interested in learning about uh, beginning finance. And so anyway, so let's go ahead and read this problem. Uh, the determinants of interest rates for individual securities. The Wall Street Journal reports that the current five-year Treasury bond, the rate, the rate on current on five-year Treasury bonds is 1.9. The current rate on five-year Treasury bonds is 1.85 percent. So the current rate, that's where the one comes for, and the maturity is five years. So the current rate on a five-year Treasury bond is 1.85 percent. So that's the notation. And the current rate on a one-year ten-year Treasury bond is 3.35 or a ten-year Treasury bond. Is 3.35 percent. So the current rate on a 10-year treasury bond is 3.35 percent. The maturity premium is zero percent. Maturity risk premium. We want to calculate the expected rate on a five-year treasury bond purchased five years from today. So five years today, a five-year maturity treasury bond. What do we expect to earn on that? Okay. And in order to do that, we're going to use the unbiased expectations theory. And according to the unbiased expectations theory, this is just an example. The return for holding a four-year bond to maturity should be equal to the expected return on investing in four successful, four successive one-year bonds. So in other words, um, in this case, uh, this is a five-year bond, and this is the this is the the yearly yield for a five-year bond. Well, it'd be, it'd be the same thing as 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 a uh, Multiplying uh, one plus one plus one point eight five times one plus one point eight five plus one plus one eight over five years, and that would give you the, and that would be equivalent to that. And this will make a sense, sense in a second. Let me show you the the equation we're going to use. So we're going to use this equation right here. In fact, we're going to use equation one six six. And so it's, so we're going to plug in. We're going to do the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation. So I'm going to plug in this left hand side first. So I'm going to say this is equal to 1 plus, and then I'm going to, for n, I'm going to use 10. Okay, so 1 plus this to the 10th power, right? So this is 1r10 to the 10th, just like it has here. 1r10 is, is this to the 10th power. Okay, and let me put the formula in here so you can see it. And then the right-hand side, I'm going to plug in this, and that's going to be equal to parentheses 1 plus this. But see, this is a five-year bond, so I have to multiply it times itself five times, according to unbiased expectations theory. So that's just that, that times 2R1, times, if I expected 2R1, and, and that's all going to be equal to that. And then finally, we have... We want the answer, right? We want the we want this part of the equation, the last few terms, and that's going to be one plus, or what our answer is going to be. What it's going to be. we're going to guess something in here, maybe we'll say two percent to start, and that's also going to be to the fifth power, because that's because that's uh because that's all you know. This this is. If, this is five years from now, five years. So it's the fifth power because you have to multiply it times itself so five times. Just like you had to multiply one plus this times itself so five times. Okay? And then I'm going to hit enter. Let me copy this formula over. And we'll just guess this for now. So I'm going to say 2%. I don't, that's probably not the answer. But in order for this to be an equality, see we have an equal sign here. This has to be equal to this. So one way I can see if that's equal to that, if I subtract the two, if you subtract the two, if I go um, this minus this, well, if they're equal, what should this answer be? It should be zero, right? So I could guess this. I can go 1%. I can go 2%. I can go 3%, 4%. So I'm getting closer to zero, 5%. Now it's a negative. So somewhere between 4 and 5 I can keep guessing it, which will in turn, remember, remember uh, this, oops, this right here is this, right? So I'm changing this answer, okay? So 
So as I so as I change this, I'm going to plug in something different here, and then as a subtractive too. So this kind of sum seems kind of complicated, but I, basically I want that to be zero. So you know, so I I can make Excel guess instead of going back and forth. And one of the best ways we can use it, we could use something called Goal Seek. And I was thinking I was going to use Solver, but we can probably get away with Goal Seek here. So I'll just show you how to use Goal Seek in this problem. So I want this to be equal to zero. So I want to set this cell. Whoop, I want to set this cell to the value of zero by cha changing whatever I'm guessing here. And if I go, oh, go OK, you'll see this change, and it changes to 4.87%. So I'm going to go here, uh, used, used, used goal seek. So there's another program called Solver, but this one will probably get us close enough. So that's one way to solve it. So another way I could do, I could use algebra. So I could just solve it. We know the left-hand side is going to be equal to, so I'm going to solve it using algebra. And I know the left-hand side is equal to this. So I'm going to say it equals uh, parentheses 1 plus this to the 10th power. And if you, you probably have to work this out step by step, but I've been doing algebra so long, I kind of do this in my head. Next thing I want to do is I want to get this B10 by itself because that's where my answer is, right? Because that's the uh, that's 5 E 5R5 five is right here where this uh, B10 is. So um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to divide this. So you divide by one a parentheses one plus B2. Okay, Oop. B2. Uh, to the fifth power. And then finally, I want, now I have this by itself because I already, I already divided this over here. So I moved that over to the left hand side. Now I got to get rid of something, get rid of that to the fifth power. So I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to take it to the parentheses one fifth power. So I remove the fifth power and finally I got to get rid of this one. So I'm going to subtract one. And now I have B10 by itself is where my answer is. And and remember, B10 is right here, right? That's my answer. And then if I hit enter, I get the same answer. Okay. So that's the way to do it with uh, with algebra. So anyway, this, um, if you don't like the algebra, if you, if you could understand what I did there, uh, that kind of helps a little bit. I know this a little bit. First of all, you have to figure out how to plug that into that formula. And then either you got to do fancy algebra or you got to use goal seek to solve it. So it's a little bit of a tricky problem, but hopefully that helps. Uh, uh, there's another way you could do it using solver, but I think I'm not going to show you in this. The video is already eight minutes long, and I don't really want to take any longer than that. So uh, hopefully that helps. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, a picture is going to come up here. Click on my picture, and that, that subscribes you to my channel. I'd appreciate a subscribe. Um, yeah, if you if I get enough subscribers, that makes it worth worth my while to uh, continue to produce these videos. So thank you. Bye.